So all this week, several people, different blogs have all talked about Martel Holt not paying for the guests at Sheree's birthday dinner. And Dr. Heavenly chimed in on what she thought about this whole situation. So let's take a listen to what she had to say. If Dr. Damon call you up and say, I'm having a birthday dinner for my wife, right? Do you freaking think that the Damon ain't gonna pay? Now, I don't know what y'all thinking and y'all saying, hey, the, the women feel like they privileged and all of that and all of this, that and the other. The caliber of women that I deal with, people fighting over the check. Like when I go to the dinner with Dr. Jackie, it's like, no, I got it. I got it, bitch. No, I got it. Because it's like, I want to pay. I don't understand it. I don't know. Was it 50 people? Was it 10 people? Was it five people? Was it a whole lot of money? Because honestly, if my man called you up, he, he should pay. Or we can get a bucket of chicken because we can get a bucket of chicken and go to KFC and everybody good. But if you're going to take me to a restaurant, I'm assuming it's a nice restaurant because of the problem with the money. It must have been a lot, right? I'm expecting that brother to pay. So a lot of people had tagged Martel in her post and I guess he wanted to um, set the record straight. So here's what he says. He says, I didn't invite anyone. I wasn't the host. I was invited like everyone else. I brought a gift. Those were her friend girls and some had their husbands and boyfriends. Heavenly, you said your husband would have paid. When I was married, I paid for dinners. And when I host dinners, now I pay. It's not if I can pay it. It's the principle. I paid for my dinner and Sheree Whitfield's dinner. I said, y'all can cash at me. I've come to realize that extending a good gesture doesn't mean ish because the main person, Sanya Richards Ross, who spoke about this situation, I just paid for her and her husband's dinner when we casually met up a couple of weeks prior to. So not doing things people expect of you or want you to do will bring out their true character. Now, someone said Martel is in the comments lying, but I don't think he's lying about this. He tagged Sanya Richards Ross, basically saying that he's paid for their dinner before. I didn't see her respond anywhere on there. And he said he didn't invite them. And Sheree has said more than once, even after the, the Real Housewives of Atlanta after show, she said it was an impromptu dinner. She just decided she wanted to get together with her friends and made a few phone calls um, to have them all meet up. So um, once again, she did go on an interview to try to clear things up, but I personally don't think he should have paid. But you guys, let's take a listen to what she had to say. You know, around the holiday season, uh, um, is you know, during the holiday, you know, around the holiday season, uh, so I decided to because I was already already had some girlfriends saying they want to take they want to take me to dinner. So I was like, okay, well let me just because I had so many of them <laughs> want to take me to dinner, but I can only fit so many people. So I was like, okay, I'll just do it at Nobu. So okay. this is me planning this, putting it together the day of, very last minute, and you know I I, I had a limited amount of you know seats, which I actually went over. I think they told me eleven; it can only fit eleven, but we end up with uh, fourteen, and. Okay. That's, you know, that's what it was. I put this together. Uh, it's my birthday. They wanted to take me to dinner and, you know, I just kind of invited other people. But it's my birthday. You want me to pay for you? <laughs> You're like, you want me to pay for you, boo? Like, that's not happening, right? Yes. Now, when I typically, I mean, we're all grown. Yes. When when I go to a birthday dinner, you know, we just make sure that that birthday person, that birthday um, girl or, you know, does not have to come out of her pocket. Right, she's taken care of. Yeah, she's taken care of. Okay. Okay. Yeah. There was just a lot of talk about like going back and forth, like whose responsibility is it? I agree with you. Don't think it should ever be the birthday girl. And then you brought up gifts. So obviously if everyone comes empty handed to you, you're like, the least you could do is pay. Well, listen, so you come in, you're coming empty handed, which I get it. It was a day of, however, okay. some people did make time to go, you know, get something, okay. but you want to come empty handed and you want me to pay for your food <laughs> and your husband. <laughs> First of all, why y'all even want somebody to pay for your food? I make sure I got enough money when I go. If I'm invited somewhere, I'm, I can always pay for my own meal. Right. I can do anything else. 
I got you. I got you. Have I you don't heard? expect. I don't. I don't expect. And I felt like it wasn't even so. Okay, so yeah, they expected him I don't, for whatever reason. They expected him to pay, which I don't think is really fair because we. He didn't put it to. He wasn't putting the. He didn't plan the dinner. I did. Was it Martel Holt's birthday dinner for Sheree? No. Okay. No. All no. Right. And actually, we didn't even. We didn't even come together. He was an invited guest, just like everybody else was. So it's not like we came in together and we're like, oh, okay, everybody, you sit. No, we didn't even arrive together. Okay. Um. So sound off below and let me know your thoughts about what Martel had to say. I think at this point we can leave this situation to rest. Um, some people will continue to say that he still should have paid and others will continue to say, nope, he didn't invite them. He didn't set up this gathering. So he was not responsible. Well, all right, you guys, I thank you all for watching and listening, and I'll talk to you in the next video. Please be sure to give this one a thumbs up and be sure to hit the notification bell so you never miss an update from what's happening.